All right, welcome, welcome everybody. So thanks for uh, joining us some more. We've got um, basically the market, commerce, industry, and uh, we're picking up where we left off in the last video. So <clears throat> anyway, we are uh, looking at building some uh, uh, ships here. The I've been mining the hell out of a lot of stuff, and I just found all this ore here in these ships. I've forgotten that I had that I had done this here. So anyway, and I'm I'm looking for facilities that are you know good for manufacturing, um, and I am uh, trying to stay within my uh, within our corporate stuff. So. Uh, I have several, I have several, uh, items here that I just don't know where to manufacture them at yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them. I want them separate from this other stuff because I've already figured out that stuff's going to work there. I'm going to have to bring more materials in to do the manufacturing on those. And I will. So I think, I think I'm almost at the point here of, I don't need to sell all this ore that I'm creating and that I can actually start manufacturing stuff and making even more money, but over the longer term. So uh, I am going to go to an NPC station here and I'm going to drop off these other, uh, these other things and then call it good. So um, change all my facilities to public facilities. Why? Uh, I can post this fit into live shows. Uh, it will be going on to uh, our website as well. So I don't know if that'll be in a day, a couple of days, a week. I don't know yet. We're still working out uh, all that stuff. But here is, it's called High Life All Green. I posted it in live shows. So you can uh, get that. Why change my settings, my facility settings to public? It is public, but why change it to public own? Or it is public. I think that you're recommending something that I've already done. Docking permission requested. Well, I'm not looking for easier factory hunting. I, I'm looking for hogs factories. So, but but the I can't just say corporate because I don't own any. They're all hogs stuff, and Docking I'm a hog. Accepted. It's complicated. So. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. I think I think we're all good. So, all right. I'm going to drop off this stuff here. I'm just going to leave them out here. I don't know what to do with them, where to, to do these builds at yet. I'll figure that out probably off the show. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm hoping that I have some Mexalon up there with the other stuff. Oh, I also need to find out the best place for compression. Or refining and I probably need to mark that down so manufacturing do we have refining material efficiency time efficiency research reaction no we don't it's not listed in here so I don't know um, yeah I don't know I have to figure that out. So I heard of the perimeter. There was a facility that charges like 1% and does 54% refining. Uh, and that might be good. Um, we also can look at the station browser, which is this newer stuff, which I never really used much before. Um, solar system, let's go region, and then the stuff that's closer, and uh, structure type, let's see, not station, okay, service filter, refining, reprocessing, there we go. So, that one doesn't charge any tax. 
It doesn't tell me what their refining rate is though. Is there a way to see that on here? I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if it tell unless it tells in the name. So here's here's uh, fifty four percent in Pikira, and this is a hog station. Um, so, but I, I understand that there was one that's 55%. And let's see what they charge. They charge 1% for 54%. And, you know, a lot of my manufacturing is done in that system. So that might make sense. Um, just looking here, 53%. Uh, yeah, I heard of one that was in perimeter that's 55% and charges 1%. But then you still got the cost of transport and everything. So, um, HC, Fifth Moon Mining Facility. Oh, that's in LOSEC. Hmm. All right. Um, Oh, I'm 10 jumps out. Pfft, forget that. Okay, so uh, Pykira it is, which is the name of the system where I have a lot of my manufacturing in for the moment. Uh, when we get closer to, that was only showing region. Maybe if we go to perimeter, do I have anything in perimeter? Do I have a, I have something in a station over there. What is it? It's just a book. Yeah, let me go over there. Okay, we've unloaded everything. You know, it's really interesting. Are you guys finding this stuff? The one in perimeter just charges 0.1% and it's a 55% yield. Wow. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go find that. We may bookmark that as uh, the refinery. 0.1% um, and 55%. Let's see how many jumps it is. It's freaking five jumps away from here. Is that 1.9% or that actually it's 2.9%. Is that worth five jumps? It could be. Perimeter can be a dangerous place though. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna, um, you know, cargo expand and everything. Cause it's gonna take up so much room. So anyway, I was just I was just uh, I was just thinking about the fact that um, some people come in here and they're like, "Oh my God, this is so boring! I'm leaving." But this is the nitty gritty of how you make the money in the game, so that you go out and have the other fun. Although I have an enormous amount of fun doing this stuff, so I hope you all are enjoying it. All right. We're going over to Perimeter, and I'm going to find this one, and I'm going to, um, yeah, depends on how much I transport. See, and you can't transport a lot of dollar amount worth either. Ooh, maybe we just take the stuff, the, the Veldspar, compressed Veldspar over to uh, another system, because that stuff's huge. Um, and the other stuff that we refine there, something like that. These guys are getting near full. I'm gonna have to uh, um, maneuver some stuff within them. Warp drive active. Hey, let's see here. These guys are gonna get completely full while we're out doing this.
Ask Hogs for a better refine deal. Uh. Well, I don't know. Oh. So generally I've been avoiding the moon goo, but in here this moon goo is uh, better, better paying than the, the other stuff that's in here. Yeah, Air Hogs do have a website. Uh, they also have a channel. Uh, hop in the Air Hogs channel and you can talk to people. my two other clients are on the sides here Which, by the way with the new build I'm gonna be able to show you these other ones in fact I may uh, yeah I'll be able to show you all three monitors at the same time or just one at a time just one client at a time it's gonna be pretty trick it's going to be a pretty trick. It's going to offer me some new options. And we're a week to two weeks out on building that, and we'll build it live on the show. Warp drive active. All right. Uh, Delo Leo, you guys have the streams, these streams, and it's great. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the support. Uh, do I think as an alpha, an alpha can put something together that resembles my jumper? You mean this ship that I'm flying right now? Um, no, nowhere close. And, uh, I mean, you can, there are some other Galante ships. There's one that I call Pencil, which is, uh, it's really long. Um, and it'll hold a fair amount, but, uh, you don't ever want to get more than a hundred million worth in one of those because you're just so easy to gank. This right here... Not easy to gank. Not easy to gank. Theater on, yeah. So. Alright, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to... There's a book in okay. here that I purchased. I'll pick it up. And uh, then let's use the uh, station browser. And there's a ton of stations in here. They're on five. Yeah, it could be. So, um, perfect refinery. Charge 1%. So, perimeter, I choose you. Charges nothing. Max reprocess here in perimeter. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Is this view going to reset when I dock? I don't know. Okay, so Tetara, Max Refine. Let's go. Uh, Warp drive active. We'll see if this. Uh, 
what it says. Yes, I did order the machine. In fact, you guys want to see the stuff on it? Or I'll show you. So, uh, exclamation point upgrade in Twitch chat to get a link to this page. Link in the description in YouTube under uh, my rig. And uh, so I've started using an Amazon page. They've, uh, they've given me a page to put together my stuff. And this has got it. This is most likely spam. Hello? Hello? Right. Can you tell me how many miles you currently have on the Honda? Well, um, which one? The Honda Geo. Um, yeah, and is this car stuff? I'm sorry? And it's for the car, right? It's for the warranty on the vehicle. Okay. Does it matter that the Honda GL is a motorcycle? Do you want coverage on the vehicle? I don't know. Why, why would I want to do it? She hung up on me. I swear, these fuckers call me, I kid you not, five or six times a day. And it's a different freaking phone number every time. And if I call back the phone number, if I call back the phone number, it's not them. They're spoofing someone else's phone number. And, and so the other people are like, what? I didn't call you nor anybody else. I've been getting a bunch of calls today. So it is illegal here too. And they're doing it anyway. And I don't get it. I do not, I do not understand how they're, how they're doing that. But um, anyway, I'm getting so tired of them. I, I dropped F-bombs on another guy last night like 10, 15 times before he finally hung up. I can't put them on my blacklist. They're using real people's phone numbers. And it's a different phone number every time they call. So, um, and they're spoofing the caller ID. Yeah, I, I think, you know, my kids that have cell phones, they like don't answer them. And they're like, well, text me if you want to talk. Okay. And, you know, but they don't answer their phones. And the, um, and I'm thinking to myself, no wonder they don't answer their phones. This is bullshit. Every call they get, it's not legit. So... Anyway, okay, let's talk about let's talk about the computer. Let's talk about let's talk about the new mega machine. And uh, so you guys have the link to this. Uh, I'm going to start putting all of my stuff that I use on the show and everything on here. And I just started first with um, with the this is the stuff for the uh, um, for the stream machine and. The uh, stream machine here is uh, currently, it's running in this case right here, which is enormous and a beautiful case. And, and I'm also, I've also got my Elgato cards here, which uh, I linked there. If any of you want to do the capture, it does 4K at 60 frames per second capture, which is great. Um, Titan XP video card and uh, currently I have a one terabyte SSD in it. Although if I were building this all brand new and not reusing some of the parts, I would go with the, uh, NVMe drives, uh, because they're like seven times faster. Uh, but anyway, uh, I have ordered all the parts here. This one right here, the, the memory here, it doesn't have a price on it because I bought the last set. Um, so it's a Threadripper. 32 core AMD CPU, 
uh, cooling, a Nocta uh, cooling system, and then a Gigabyte uh, motherboard. This one just came out and it has some features on it that uh, I'm very, very interested in. So, uh, and then I went ahead and did 64 gigs of RAM because we're gonna run the stream and the games off of a single machine. And so this thing is gonna be an absolute beast. And so, um, because of that, uh, anyway, I, I did 64 gigs of RAM. I don't think most people would need that. I also linked in here 32 gigs of RAM, which is what most people would want. But I put both of these in here. One, this was the hardest part for me, was the memory. Because I had to, you can't go to like PC part picker or whatnot and put this shit in because the CPU and the motherboard are both, not, don't even exist on there. And so uh, I had to do a lot of research on the motherboard for all the certifications, the certified memories, memory sticks that have been tested and everything. And uh, both of those that I've linked to, both of those are the exact part numbers that are certified on this in 32 and 64 gig uh, combinations. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that is, that is the machine. As I build out, when, we, when the parts come in and we do this build, I will be taking um, and reconfiguring this page a bit and I'll put the different machines in their own categories and everything so that if you wanted to replicate building one of the machines, you could. So anyway, we'll build it live on the show. And uh, so, and thank you to everybody who's donated towards that. You will notice that the upgrade amount went up. It was twenty-seven fifty, um, and it went up because I went ahead and did the sixty-four gigs of RAM, and then I also forgot to figure in sales tax. So, anyway, there we go. But it's all ordered, and it's um, some of it's on the way. The CPU is not shipping for two or three days. The motherboard is on back order, and I expect that it'll be shipping probably first of the week or so. So, um, is a Threadripper 29WX is better than your i9 7980XE? Absolutely. Yes. Four gigahertz speed, 32 cores, 53%. I actually happen to know this percentage already. I saw some stats on them compared to each other. 53% more power than the um, than the i9 there. So, yeah. How many connectors does the uh, Titan have? So I can run five monitors on it. I think I can run five. Yes, and the Threadripper is a brand new one they just announced. The Threadripper 2, uh, 32 core. So, um, and uh, and it has two modes in the 32 cores. You can you can boost, you can, you can have all the cores locked at the same frequency um, <clears throat> in turbo at like four gigahertz or you can let the first two be free flow and the the, uh, the rest of them are like 3.9 or something like that, and the other ones will go up to like 4.2. It's something like that. We're gonna have to play with that a little bit. And um, so, how come I didn't wait for the next gen GPUs? I didn't buy a GPU, Golden. I already had the Titan XP. So this is a rebuild. I just put together all the parts in there in, in one thing so that everybody could see them in one place. So, yeah. So I did not buy a new video card and I don't need a new video card. Uh, at least I'm not running into any limitations other than I have used all of the memory on my card when I run triple 4K screens and, and I, have, I can only get uh, three game clients going on EVE because uh, then that puts me over 10 gigabytes of uh, video memory. Um, but like right now, I've got eight clients running. I'm at 2.1K. And here I'll bring up the my thing to measure here. So 
how much power to use the setup, I don't know yet, but I have a uh, 1300 um, watt power supply that I'll be putting in it. So, uh, oh, I didn't put power supply on there. That's what I'm missing, the power supply. Yeah, I already have it here. Um, it was given to me for free by the company because they screwed up some other stuff. Um, so they gave me this mega power supply, 1300 watt. Um, Jita is still the main hub. So I'm using 7.2 gigs of memory here. And um, so we'll figure it out. I mean, if I can't do stuff that, you know, uh, the newest generation of video cards will help with then then I'll I'll make some sort of change but uh, otherwise this is it's working fine so okay so I'm in the refinery here it won't tell me the percentage unless I'm gonna refine something oh my god it won't tell me the percentage unless I'm going to refine something. Um... I can't just refine some ammo. All right. Other side of the window, not the output side. I'll drop items in there to reprocess. Okay. Uh, no, well, this says 50% which this should say 55%. I must be at the wrong place. Um, yeah, and I don't know that it's gonna tell me the right stuff because I wanna refine ore. Yeah. So, how much uh, ore do I need to reprocess? Here, I can just buy one, one module of compressed stuff. So, it just needs to be one compressed You, sir, rock. All right. I bought one. That's all I need. Dragon Knight, thank you for the host. Drive active. Okay, so we'll go pick this up and then we'll work back over there. Docking request accepted.
Okay, there is my one compressed Arcanor. And I'm just looking for the percentage that it says, because this is not my this is not my right guy with all the bonuses. I have another character that has all of the all the stuff, um, all the skills plus bean counter. So apparently this one is below here. Am I gonna bump into the station getting to warp? I don't know. I might. Welcome to the dragons. Come on, get to warp. Golly. Drive active. Oh, the complete list of hog structures can be found on Excel web page, shows rigs and stuff. Excellent. I will go look at that later on the hog site. Apparently, I made a change. The reason I couldn't dock at that other station is because I changed uh, uh, CEOs at uh, um, at um, Corp that I had and so when I did that I guess it be, my stuff became invalid so I just got to go in and fix that all right so here we are again now let's look at reprocessing and 55.1%. I must have just this much skill. But, um, all right. So, it wants to charge 109 ISK. I forget what it said that the percentage, I thought it said for free. Point one percent. All right, this is a good place. So I'm going to I'm going to bookmark this. Under my manufacturing. All right. It's all good. Here, I'll leave that one little compressed ore here. Hey, okay. now to head back up to where all the work's being done. The only thing about about compressing and then transferring it so far to <clears throat> to do this stuff is that. Is that I have to take my other character down here, and so I'm like, okay, well, let's put her in a freighter at least, or something, so that she can uh, do that. Pretty sure this one also has a market. It does. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Hey, it's good. Charcy, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hey, before I undock, I gotta get another drink. Uh, I'm out of drink. Be right back.
Right. So. We are heading back out to our stuff and we're taking the correct um, ship this time. So I took the wrong ship last time. So let's see here. So what system are these guys in? Let me find my orca. I don't know, am I gonna mine any? Probably not, but. Oh, that's by name. I accidentally selected that. Jump, oh wait, I don't want that. All right, here we go. Your son just asked you whether or not you're good at Eve because you have two monitors. Yeah, you are better. You are better because of it. Tell him you'd be even better if you had a third one. For compression of ore, question coming from YouTube, you can compress any time, any place that'll refine. And you want to compress because it compresses down 100 to 1. So in effect, you can fit 100 times as much ore on board if you compress it. So, and that's not NPC stations. NPC stations won't compress. It's only player stations. Warp drive active. Make sure these guys are still doing okay. They've been mining moon goo all day. Probably gums up everything in these orcas, the moon goo. I can tell she's been killing rats because I keep getting standing decreases. It means that she's been killing rats with her one hop goblin that's out. How do you get into moon mining? Um, well, hop into live shows, L-I-V-E-S-H-O-W-S, in game. In there we have a moon miners link and uh, can join our moon miner group um, basically you just need a ship that can mine ore and you can come out and join us uh, so there's a lot of complexity to it but that in very essence is where you can get started So I am doing moon mining with orcas and uh, it's because I can multitask much better. See here I'm doing all these other things and I have all these guys mining at the same time. So, you know, that's uh, a pretty good thing. Oh, I might be just about out. 
these. All right. So I'm going to have to come back to her, that one for getting on target there. Warp drive active. So we're maximizing things here. This is the ultimate in multi-boxing. I've got eight clients running on the same machine. And uh, I do have multiple monitors. It's, you can do this all in one. I do it on my laptop. I wouldn't be able to broadcast from my laptop while doing this at the same time. But uh, yeah, it uh, definitely works. Um, and so you do not get to 100% refine. You're at 78.4 at the moment. I think I'm at 78.2. For Vix, do you have a uh, bean counter in, too? You need the hauler fit. Sure. It's in, uh, go into live shows, L-I-V-E-S-H-O-W-S, in-game. And, uh, oh yeah, my laptop does sound like a jet engine. We actually have to turn the volume up on the TV whenever I start mining on my laptop. And it's not like, it's not like cryptocurrency mining either. That sounds the same. So, uh, hop into live shows, L-I-V-E-S-H-O-W-S, in-game. We'll post the fit for this for you. Um, we also just did a thing, a recording for it on how to use this uh, and the whole fit, which will go up on uh, my website here sometime soon and everything. So, have I cleaned the radiator fan lately? I'll look at it again. You know, it's interesting, but every time I've looked at it, it hasn't been dirty at all. So, I'll look. Oh well, yeah, when you get home, you can ask for the fit for the aquator, uh, but I mean, I posted it now, so it's kind of ephemeral on there, like it may not be there later. And, uh, but we will have it up on the website here. I won't say, you know, exactly when, but. crying at the door here of course you know now you know you want attention from me why are you trying to run away hmm huh you you come begging for attention and then you try and run away you know you want it Can you target that yet? Yep. She's laying in front of my keyboard here now. Probably dangerous to let her do that, right?
And there she goes. Half the time, I don't even know what she wants. She just decided to lay down in the corner over there. Sometimes she comes in and wants right back out. A few tail flicks and auto destruct. Right. Yes. Yeah, they find the freeze button on the keyboard, like freeze up the PC. So this isn't too far away from mining area. It's like nine jumps to the reprocessing. We'll see, uh, now this moon goo that I've been mining all day can't be compressed. What? You just came in here. ice in this system as well. Although I don't know if I want to move them over to ice. Ice is going to do nothing, but I just sell the stuff. So, I'm up to 8 billion. And... I sold... I don't know, did I sell everything that I put up? No, I still have some uh, Megasite which is what I needed to build the other stuff. Yeah, significantly, the price is significantly dropped. I think I sold some though. And, um, then Zydrine. Yeah, significantly dropped in price there, too. That's okay. You know, I just go with whatever the price is, and uh, I don't need to adjust it right now. I could. I actually have control of it from this far away. But I could if I needed to try and get the stuff to sell. Um, but I'm not... F Fine! Oh, my God. Hold on, everybody. I got to go open the door. I just gotta remember, I love my cat. I love my cat. She needs me to assist her with the doors. She cannot open them herself, and I have decidedly chosen to not teach her how to open them. I taught her how to talk, and I've regretted it ever since. Right. Now, you'll never have a cat. Oh, cats are great. So, she's my buddy. Okay, now, um, at this point, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do here. I'm probably going to go and look at these other moons and get them onto some better stuff. Uh, but I have 2.3 billion worth of stuff in here. So I guess, I guess what I'm going to do, as long as I can stay above 10 billion, uh, I'm going to start plexing my accounts. And I haven't, I haven't looked at like my other accounts here. I know that you can, isn't it under character? And then, um, to the dragons. 
And then pilot services. He has some Plex already. Oh, and this guy is okay. I mean, come on. My Omega State expires in uh, the sixth month of the year 2020. <laughs> He's good to go. He's good to go. Let's look at my other one here. How is she doing? Oh, so Joey, I've talked about it a couple of times why I raised it. It's because we we went up to uh, uh, we went up to 64 gigs of RAM instead of uh, 32, and I forgot tax. But I already ordered it all, so it's all on the way, and um, we're gonna build it here next week or the week after. And uh, but I still, you know, this is this is part of how I do it. All the hardware is paid for by the donations and the. And the subscriptions and stuff take care of the maintenance of everything and and uh so you know that's uh and so yeah I, I changed it uh so wow so she's got a year august 2019 oh, good i'm not gonna have to plex these soon what about this guy Maybe I just only had the one that was really close, that was a month away. So September 2018, okay, so only a month. Okay, we need to put some Plex on this guy. We need to Plex his account. Okay, so there's one. I actually have not looked at all of these to see, and so I'm actually kind of finding this out as we're looking. Hey, Sirion, I see you're out here with me in an orca. That's awesome. You found me. Yeah, so make sure you're in the Moon Miners stuff because we'll, uh, um, when we find good stuff in there, we'll post it. Um, oh, oops, wrong client. Let's see here. So this guy is 2019. This one. Um, this month, he's going to, he's going to need some, some support too. All right. And then, so the clients that are off the screen here, I'll look at them real quick. So I've got two of them that need to be plexed, actually three, because my main one here, I just put two months on them. And... Oh gosh, another one that expires in a month. So we got three of them that expire in a month. Okay, what about the very last one here? And he's a year. So I got three of them that I need to plex right now. Okay, not bad. I've got, uh, I've got some plex right here. I've got enough for doing two more months and everything so yep oh yeah Sirian I have more than you yeah you know and Sirian you, you probably recognize a couple of my guys as uh, actually none of these are ones I bought from you I, but I bought two characters from Sirion a few years ago so, and uh, it was really good, really good deal for me. Um, Yutoshi has one system with 54% processing. Yeah, I decided not to process anymore up here. And the reason is, is because it gets so much bigger again. And it's the transportation. The transportation is the issue. So, uh, no G, thank you for the follow, welcome. Hello, life is... Uh, life is shit, but still survive from Russia. Cat wants to talk to us. Give him your greetings. <laughs> oh, yes. My cat talks to me all the time. So. Um, let's see here.
Please translate to Russian. I want my cat to go and fetch my vodka. Please bring me the vodka. I want my cat to bring me vodka. Please teach them how to bring me the vodka and pour it as well. All right. Please teach my cat how to bring me vodka. Okay. <laughs> I love Google Translate. So, yeah. Hello to all my Russian friends. I love you. Please hit subscribe now. I don't know what I'm doing. Привет всем моим друзьям из России. Я люблю тебя. Пожалуйста, нажмите подписаться. Welcome to the Dragons. All right, so French. Welcome to the Dragons. Bonjour à tous mes amis russes. Je t'aime. S'il vous plaît, appuyez sur abonner maintenant. <laughs> I don't know what... Okay, so here we go. Let's see here. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm just having fun with this. Je ne sais pas ce que je dis. Je suis juste en train de m'amuser avec. Now, we also... You know, so we got um Я не знаю, что, черт возьми, я говорю, я просто развлекаюсь. Now, um let's see here. I'm looking here. Darn it. They don't have Klingon. <laughs> that sounded freaking horrible. That was in Icelandic. Ask Google to do a barrel roll. Please do a barrel roll. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. <sighs> Nailed it. <laughs> Please tell me a joke. Why are chemists bad at playing pranks? They lack the element of surprise. All right, so. <laughs> Do some Danish. Yeah, I, I think we got enough for that for the moment. But yes, we will, uh, That you know. Oh, yeah, maybe I should ask how do I get a Russian mail order bride in Russian? Oh, maybe that's offensive to Russians, I don't know. I found my bride without ordering her in the mail. Uh, Raffle Winsner. 
and banging beer thank you for following welcome all right so we are going to hop out of this ship here and let's see do i have oh i don't have any other ships here okay let's go up to We gotta go a couple more. What? I didn't realize I was that far away from the fleet. All right. We gotta go a bit further. Yeah, you know, um, the, you know, mail order bride stuff, all jokes aside and everything, um, the, uh, one of my, one of my staff, that I used to have. He doesn't work for me anymore, but um, he did that. And, you know, I knew them for several years. I, since I moved, I haven't, um, I haven't had touch with, been in touch with them, but, you know, they really hit it off. They were both gamers and stuff. And I don't think she spoke a lick of English whenever she, uh, moved and she got her U.S. citizenship and everything and and even like uh, three years after she got her citizenship and everything they were still married so and, and still living together and everything so it wasn't you know just a, a scam or anything um, so you know I actually I actually have two friends that have done that and um, you know if you're socially awkward and you know, you don't know how to meet people, and, um, you know, there's a chance it can work out. You know, I could see it going all kinds of wrong in all kinds of ways. But, you know, there's a chance that stuff can work out, and if it does, great. It's not, um, not the way I would do it for myself, but, you know, whatever works for people. Yes, Chrono Prime! Ask if we have any giveaways anytime soon. We do! Exclamation point giveaway in Twitch chat. Link in the description in YouTube. Get here to our store. Gotta have an account. Make sure you're logged in. This thing right here does not disappear when you log in. Don't be fooled by it. Go to the giveaway section. Add this to your cart. Put in here something funny. Like your Twitch name, YouTube name. Game name, real name, message, whatever. Hit add to cart, go to checkout, and uh, then you um, will receive an email from us saying you're in. So we do have a meteor pack we'll be giving away today worth about 15 bucks. It does come with 30 days Omega and uh, some Plex and some ship skins. So good stuff. Oh, a sale on the packages. Oh! No, nah, the sale is over. I think what well, we ended at about a week ago, maybe a little bit more than a week ago. So any of you who've ever bought from us, whatnot, when you make an account with us and everything, there's a little checkbox there and whether or not you receive the newsletter. When we put those on sale, I send out a newsletter. I don't always send out a newsletter just because something's on sale because I don't think you want that. I put send out a newsletter when we have something good to share. And sometimes that is just come and hang out with us and mine um, or go on this fleet or whatever. But, um, but when we do have a sale, that information is always in there and we send it out to everybody. I can't wait to do the next newsletter. I've been kind of chomping at the bit to do another one, but I, I literally, I don't want to send you any spam. And so I don't just send an email just because I haven't sent one in a while. Um, but the next one, we built a new mailing system and I've done testing with it and everything. And um, I think that I can get a thousand emails per minute sent now. And if that's the case, then 
Which we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. The whole damn thing might explode. Thousand emails per minute. Then we can uh, send out an email right before any event. Uh, first step is 1,000 emails per minute. Second step is 10,000 emails per minute. And I know <laughs> that sounds awful crazy, but if you knew how many people were on the newsletter, then you'd be like, okay, he needs that. <laughs> so um, anyway, yes. And do I have any ships left for the giveaway? Like this one? Oh my. Yes. So, um, yes. And in fact, right there. Yeah. Microsoft will flag me with spam so hard. No, we've kept Microsoft warm. So, no, we, okay. So Microsoft is the mafia. Let me say again, Microsoft is the mafia and we pay the mafia to allow our emails through. I kid you not. We pay them to allow us to send mail. And it's not that they that we can send spam, because we still have to not be flagged as spam. We just pay them to allow our stuff through and go off of spam reports instead of them going, oh, hold on, 10,000 emails in a minute? Fuck you. So, um, there is not a way around that. We've had to certify our IPs with, um, with Microsoft. And we've also certified with Yahoo, AOL, Comcast, SpamHaws. Um, who else? Google. And uh, so we are basically... It's mainly Microsoft that's the problem. Google, we don't have much problem with. It's mainly Microsoft. And so, unfortunately, listen to this number. Microsoft emails equal 19% of all of our customers. And Microsoft, without paying them, says, uh, you know, this kind of looks like spam. I'm not even sending it to their spam box I am just black holing it, and they don't send us back something saying, oh, this is spam. They send us back a response saying it was received okay and processed. That's why we have to pay them, because we couldn't tell what they were flagging as spam and not. So, yeah, we pay them thousands of dollars a year. Welcome to the and I am very vocal about how much it's mafia like. Because, you know, it is. We're legitimate, and we've jumped through so many hoops to prove that we're legitimate, but yet they still penalize us. Now, if we sent 100,000 emails every day consistently, they wouldn't penalize us. But I'm not gonna send you crap every day so that we can meet that metric. I'm not gonna do it. I believe that any email we send you should be something you want to read, that you have an interest in, and, and it's not crap. If it starts turning into crap, then we're done. Chronix, hey brah, Danky for the win, no problem. And LP in with JT, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the dragon. Yeah, uh, also, this is in preparation. Many of you, many times, the the alert systems at Twitch, the alert systems at YouTube and shit go out all the time, or YouTube unsubscribes you and you didn't know it, or Twitch unsubscribes you or unfollows and you didn't know it. 
So this is the first step. Once I've got this volume going, where we can send at least a thousand emails per minute, then I'm gonna build a list. And you'll be able to choose whether or not you want it. But basically, it'll be a I'm going live list. And, uh, and you know, we'll send it out like right when we go live or whatever we feel like maybe 10 minutes before, during show warm up or something like that, I don't know. And so then you'll get, you'll get the list, you'll get an email. And uh, also that's gonna contain like stuff coming up in the show and the show schedule and everything. So I think it'll be good information and, uh, and it can even contain stuff like, you know, that Yesterday we put such and such fit on the website and here's a link to it and, and other stuff like that. Uh, so we're gonna, um, I'm working towards that. And I have an initial goal of a thousand emails per minute and we're gonna get to test that. I Just in testing to ourselves, I couldn't test that kind of volume. So I need to actually do an email out to everybody, but like I said, I won't send shit out, so I haven't I haven't done it yet. Um, but I will be uh, testing that and um, on the next newsletter I send out. So we got to do something good. Maybe it's that we, you know, maybe I um, can test it when we're doing next week, Tuesday, the publish and the abyss stuff that we're going through and the publish notes. I don't know. Would that be something that uh, you guys be okay receiving an email on? If so, you know, maybe I'll do that. I just, I just really like to keep it um, really relevant. Um, but the, but the show alerts, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that for those that want it. So, Travinus, thank you for following. Welcome. So, all right. So I am here. Let me see what ships I've got here. Let me uh, find my. Um, Let me find, yeah, there we go. There's Flash. Maybe I should keep a couple of extras up here. User rock. Let's see here. Hey, Demonborn. Ooh, 25 months of sub. How about 500 gold to everybody here in Demonborn's honor? All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that support. So. Okay. Now. Let's see here. We are going to find. Oh, let's make sure that all these guys are are on the money. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting really far out on these now. So I'm gonna see if I can find us. Um that one, there's nobody there. Do I want, I don't want to move him that far. That's too far. So we're just going to start putting him on Omber. By the way, Sirion, nice to see you out here. In fact, um, I'll hop on comms if anybody wants to chat about moon mining or what we're doing out here. I'm on comms now in Discord. Sirion, you're welcome to hop on if you want. It's always nice to chat with you. Boo. Hey, see? There Hello. he is. How you doing, buddy? Well, time to figure things out again, how things work and such. <laughs> yes. Been a while. Yes. 
I would bet, huh? Yeah, and trying to figure out what all my characters were doing the last time I played, and where they are, and where the assets are, and uh, so much work. Yes. Well, but that's fun, too. Yeah. Oh, and J.E.V.A. assets. Yep, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So oh, far, I've Porks, only just um, activated says, this one account. Says, oh my god, so Dutch. Yes, I am <laughs> so Dutch. That is uh, very true. Yes. Uh, Porsk, do you resemble that remark? <laughs> uh, so, all right. Yeah, well, I, um, boy, I, I love this new moon mining stuff because I've found that, you know, you, you don't have to be right on top of it. It's not like, it's not like mining with a skiff or mm -hmm. whatnot. I'm not always popping out cans and, and all that stuff. This is just, it's so much more passive and, mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much money I'll make today with, um, you know, being on this moon goo here and everything. There's stuff that pays double what we're on right now. Okay. And we just got to find it. And I'm about to go out looking. So. All right. Yeah. I'm just um, focused on uh, just hanging here, just mining passively, listening to you uh, on the stream and uh, looking through uh, my accounts to see which character are on what accounts and such. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to force myself to just stick with this one account for now. Okay. And uh, but still want to f figure out where everything is. So if I want to super second account, I know uh, which one to do first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and you could, uh, in theory, um, make it pay for a second account opening if you wanted one. Uh, true. True. Uh, I have enough is to to open more than one, but yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see here. Warp drive active. So, I use a leopard to go out uh, looking because a leopard is so fast, and because yep. you can, um, because it's a shuttle and you can um, repackage it mm -hmm. and uh, put it in a ship. Yep. And let's see here. I had one spot in here, or is it next door? Where is that spot? Okay, I don't understand what's going on. I made all these bookmarks today, and they're missing. Okay, so if I add location... Mm -mm. Where did these spots go? So all these bookmarks I made earlier, I don't know where they're at. It's crazy. I I must have saved them someplace else that I don't remember. Let me arrange all of these by date. Hmm. According to this, I only did one bookmark today. That's bullshit. No, Tanker, I don't rap. I had a great spot that I tagged earlier. I was trying to get Rolos' uh, attention in Airhawk's channel, but he didn't respond at all. Damn bastard, he's ignoring me. I found Damn you, Rolos! I found all of these. They uh, somehow went to the wrong group. So... I'll put them in the right group, and then I'll be good. So you've been trying to get a hold of Rolas. You know, he's always a busy guy. Yeah, I know. I got some other people in Airhawks talking to me, though. 
Yeah. I don't think anyone else remembers me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to the dragons. Yeah, mm. I enjoy uh, being part of the hogs. It's been very good for me. Hmm. Yeah, I might look into that uh, joining uh, the collective again as well. But right now, I'm still my own corporation and alliance, and I don't really want to throw that away in that history. So we'll you're see. still you're still in an alliance too. Yeah. I run an alliance still. Oh, you run an alliance? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, run. Run is a big word. Right. I, you... I own an alliance. Let's let's call it that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. I had about eight or nine of these that I put in the wrong area, and so now I've found them all. Okay. Now I can act like I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. Warp drive active. Uh, pluggers, thank you for following. Welcome. All right, so let's see here. Who are these people that are here? They're RVL. What is the station here? None of them are the station owners. Okay, how much is here? Actually, not very much left. So, I think I will ignore that one for the moment. Warp drive active. Well, the guy who's talking is Dutch. Yes, he is. Clearly. Oh, let's see here. This is awful close. Um, let's see here. How far away is that? Moon chunks right there. 67. I think this one is in its three hour period of when it's going to That looks pop. cool though, damn. So it's basically mining a chunk out of the moon and dragging it over and then collapsing it or something. Yes, and then busting it mm -hmm. apart. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, and um, when these blow up, the explosion is very loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Does it also damage ships that are in the neighborhood? No, it doesn't seem to. Uh, yeah. Why not? Damn it! All those silly miners waiting for it to go boom for the first time, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah. So also the moonbeam right here is is green, which means it's still pulling. It turns yellow when it's getting ready to break it up, and then mm. the yellow lasts for three hours, up to three hours. Okay. So that one's at least three hours away. Ombre is not bad at the moment. Yeah, well, it's, only, it's paying less than 200 per cubic meter, though. So I'd rather be up in the 300 range. So here's another one that's a ways off. And it's always nice to stay within the same system, especially with the fleet, but not always possible. So this happens every six days, you said before? Well, it depends. It depends on what the station owners have set it to. It can be as little as six days, and it can be as much as um, um, it can be as much as uh, fifty-four days. And then it gets better quality or uh, higher volumes. Higher volumes. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So more, just more stuff. Hmm. What's his game name? I may have been a hog a long time ago. Maybe I knew him. It's Falcon Viper. Uh, the character I had in Hogs originally was Castrofex. I'll write it down. But I go by many names in Evil Line and have many characters. And I don't think I was very active in Hawks for a long time. I joined and did some things on the on the 
and download. I did lead some fleets as well back in the day. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one's yellow. And this one has moved a bit from when I measured it. It's moved 19K. Uh, it's not going to move anymore. And um, yeah, you get up in here and it's full of stuff. Um, hmm. So this one I had pegged as blowing as late as 1716. And it's currently 1835. So I my estimates were a little off, I guess. But I would say it's about to blow. Hmm. And uh, which in essence kind of means... I watch this for when it does, and then move my fleet, because I don't have anything else close by. Uh, yeah, you don't take any damage from this if you're close by when it blows, so. Yeah, at least I've been right next to one that blew, and I don't recall taking any damage. Uh, but it's loud. You definitely hear it. So, and it's kind of interesting, uh, when you tell it to orbit here, and I'm telling it to look at it, obviously it's not looking at the main rock. It kind of looks in the middle of the field. Looks pretty nice, though. Yeah. Way better than the original mining belts, but they are the original mining belts are still there as well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I thought they were gonna disappear those uh, with well, the new maybe mechanics. at some point, but mm -hmm. they're still out there. And these, by the way, you get much more yield out of each rock. So yeah. when you go down and in your high sec and you're mining the regular belts, I mean, you're lucky to last 15 minutes on a rock, and um, here. If you're the first one on it, um, minimum half hour. Uh, mm -hmm. And as much as I, I've lasted as much on moon mining, as much as like um, an hour or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and on ice, if you're the only one on the berg, uh, that is an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So, and that's with uh, pretty much full skills. So. Okay, and with this uh, moon mining mechanic, all of the ore types come out of it and ice types and all of that? No, no. So there's no ice in this. Um, okay. And the ore types depend on the planet. So the planet, oh, cool. uh, the planet is going to, is uh, you probe the planets, which I do have a, um, a probe ship here as well. And... Uh, so you probe the planet, and it will tell you kind of what combination it's made up of. Also, if you're the station owner, it will um, it'll tell you what um, uh, what your expected yield will be of mm -hmm. everything, down to the almost down to the penny. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. So this one, I, I suspect we're going to be here i may as well go get my mining ship and come back here with this one um so let's see here yeah and i don't know what this is going to be but it'll be when it pops there'll be more than than we can mine here than before we go to sleep tonight so in fact, you get up in the morning, the field may still be here. Warp drive active. If any of my other guys get full, then I'll just dock them up, unload, and then go over to this other one. Because I'm, I have faith that I thought that it was going to pop within three hours of when I saw it earlier. And clearly I was off a bit. And I think the three hour window, I think that's accurate. I don't know. Find out. Do they replace the ancient moon mining with this mechanic? Yes. So the pause based stuff is no longer, um, no longer done. So, 
And also, um, I have the crazy idea that, and I'm, I'm doing some testing and everything, that, um, that we may do a really big pull um, from a couple of these and then just invite everybody out. And the really big ones will have, um, will have like, um, six billion, five, six billion worth of ore in them. And so we can all just come out and go hog wild. So Ozma and Master T Win, thank you for following. Welcome. It'll cost, uh, it'll cost us, I mean, for the, for the station, about 1.1 billion. And then for the fuel, I think cost maybe 80 million or so for one of those really big poles. Hmm. Uh, so it's not, it's not too bad. Sounds interesting. Yeah, but you know, you gotta, you know, there can be war decks. Somebody can take out your station okay. before then. Okay. If you run out of fuel mm -hmm. before it's dragons. done pulling, the uh, moon bit disappears. Yeah. yeah and so. if you're the owner of the of the station, right, and you're pulling a rock, uh, but you're not the one that mines it, do you still get something as the owner or not at all? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. You can mm -hmm. put refining in, refining service, and ask people to just refine there. But mm -hmm. um, even I've figured out that I'm, since I'm not building out here, I'm transporting the stuff, and so I'm only going to compress and I'm going to refine someplace else. So, yeah, so if if you want to have profits of other people doing it, then you need to set up a proper, like, a, one station for the refining and search, and another one for manufacturing, and then they might stick around, refine and manufacture. Maybe. The problem is, is that there are several different station types uh, for manufacturing, yeah. And, yeah. and and then you got to be able to defend. Mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah. Chakot says he tips. Yeah, and, you know, so... We'll just leave it at, give us a tip if you enjoyed it. And we're not going to, like, keep books on it or nothing and and say, mm. you didn't tip. <laughs> so. Yeah, we, maybe we should name it, like, free or accepting tips. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, Dracoat. That's not so bad, Hedy, yeah. Sounds kind of like a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, and then you're probably not too much in conflict with other people. Uh, I know that because I broadcast that the likelihood of us getting war decked is probably pretty high. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so... <clears throat> I wonder how these things are running in uh, Wilmer Space. Well, I understand that they make a lot of money in Wormhole Space. Yeah, but they've they've always made a lot of money in Wilmer Space. I, I used to live in Wilmer Space most of my EVE uh, time. <clears throat> I still actually have characters in a Wilmer Corporation in Wilmer Space. Hmm. I think my main uh, my main combat characters are still in the same yeah they're still in the same uh, corp and. Uh, Alliance in Wilmer Space. They did not get kicked, which is nice. Amazing. To be gone a long time and not get kicked. <laughs> mm. huh. This guy is almost completely full. Guys who are better at mining, they're, they're getting full quite quickly. Hmm. How much are you mining per uh, drone cycle? Oh, well, it depends on the type of ore or goo that you're on as oh, okay. to how much it is. Um, oh, yeah, because it's but a on, weight, right? On high paying stuff, on high skills, I'm able to get 18 million worth an hour of, mm. you know, isk worth per hour. Yeah, I still have my old Orca fit. I didn't uh, swap it for mining yet. Mm. It's still my Wilmol, uh, my Wilmol Orca. Oh. 
Yeah, so what, like Higgs for fast movement and stuff? <laughs> Low friction nozzle and uh, transversal bulkhead, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And reinforced bulkhead. Yeah, you'll want the uh, uh, mining drones, the, the mm -hmm. mining rigs, the, the drone rigs. No mining boosts give any drones anything, so you don't need yeah. the boosts if you're not going to run any laser miners. Mm hmm yeah, I do have the mining uh, form and boost bursts on here, yeah. I'll have yeah, to, uh... I took them off of my main guy because I decided I wasn't boosting anybody anymore. We invite people out, but I don't provide boosts anymore. Mm. So I went for the drone range instead because sometimes I'm sending them 70, 80k out uh, while yeah. I'm slow boating toward it. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get to see this one blow up. Maybe. Oh, you actually parked there with your orca, or yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, I did. <laughs> so, here and I'll post this one in Moon Mining. Um, let's see here. All right, so I posted the moon miners. I I can't see this going more than an hour. Um, so, and then I'll post again whenever it pops. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty nice though. Just nice to look at, you know, cinematic wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then we will definitely hear it when it blows. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't post that in live shows. I posted that in the uh, in the Moon Miners um, group, which there is a link to it from live shows. So. Okay, that's one. Yeah, one jump over. Okay. Yep, it's not very far. So I suppose that I could dock up and I could probe this planet and figure out what this is going to be, but I don't need to. Uh, can you capture that one client and record it for playback later in case it isn't on the screen to stream later? Um, well, the answer is yes, but the answer is also this is going to pop before the end of the show. Uh, I'll be, I, actually, it's already beyond the amount of time that I had it pegged at for when it would blow by, by an hour and a half. So I think my estimates were wrong, um, but I, this was 140 away at um, 14, 15 eve time, and it's now 18.48. So, uh it's my understanding, and I could be wrong on this, that the uh, when the beam turns yellow, three um, three hours is the window. Uh, if the owners show up here and press the button, they can explode it themselves, or at the end of three hours, it will go. Um, so I've not completed pulling one myself to uh, time that or anything to know for sure, so this is just what people tell me, but it's what I think. Shoot it with missiles. I don't have any missiles. Yeah. So, and this is, this is a pretty good area here. Um, it, this is a pretty, pretty good area here because we have, uh, I think it's five or six systems that are 0.5 all contiguous together and uh, so it seems to be enough stuff here for us bump it it's not gonna help yeah that sounds like a great idea let's bump the big rock with an orca that yeah sure then get stuck on it so you can't walk away <laughs> 
Oh yeah, that happens to me. I uh, I make these bookmarks on these sometimes, and sometimes it'll uh, when I come back and check, I'll land inside the asteroid, <laughs> and then it's like, oh shit. Yeah, I bounce off pretty good sometimes. Doomsday it. Yeah. Doomsdays don't work in high sec. Correct. Doomsdays don't exist in high sec. Mm. Who? Yes, this is a very big rock. Wardek the Rock. Hmm. <laughs> yes. I see how that will work really well, too. So I'm excited, everybody. This upgrade is going to be enormous. I'm moving from a... How many cores? A six core machine at 3.4 gigahertz to a 32 core machine at four gigahertz. It's gonna be great. Yes, it is possible to mine moons in high sec. I'm at a uh, high sec moon right now. So. Yes, I am going to a Threadripper, two, 32 core, 64 gigs of, of RAM that is 2933 for the speed, if any of you know what that is, which is the fastest uh, native speed out there for any boards that I could find. And... Um, most of them are 2133, and this is 20, 2966, I think it is. And, um, yeah, so prepare for ludicrous speed. Yes, that is what it's going to be. So, it's pretty wild. Um,. So, and the game machine and stream machine are going to be combined into one, like they used to do way back when. Um, and so we'll be able to, what will happen is, is that I'll have three game screens capable of running in 4K each. And I'll be able to broadcast all of them simultaneously. Uh, also going to include... So, so I will be able to make like, you know, four 1080p clients on each screen. And so I could do 12 clients all at once. And I could have it to where um, I click on one and that's the one that shows is at 1080p resolution on the show. Um, or I can show all of them. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting, but you're going to be able to get a really good view of everything. And when multi-boxing, we're going to be able to show all kinds of stuff. And um, then also I am probably going to add in Facebook stream as well. Uh, Shinstales Gold, take care. So we will, uh, and I'll build it live on the show. So you'll notice that I upped the upgrade goal. We had just passed it, surpassed it on uh, Saturday, but uh, I ended up going to 64 gigs of RAM and uh, at a higher speed. So it cost uh, quite a bit more, and I and I forgot to put in the tax. So I put in the the final amount there, and we'll build it live on the show. 
So it'll probably take a day or two of working on it on the show, but I will um, do so with my laptop. We'll broadcast the build and you can ask questions about it and stuff. And then exclamation point upgrade in Twitch chat. Well, well, there's a link in the, the description dragons. in YouTube. Uh, the link in the description in YouTube is like the PC monster build. And um, then that is all of the parts of the main machine, except for the uh, except for the power supply. I forgot to put the power supply in it. I have a new power supply here, 1300 watts. It's big in. And that's what will be going into it. So, Rusty, hey Mark, you've been a huge mentor to me. I just got my first Rourke yesterday on to building a fleet. Uh, Rourke's big, big thing. So there's two, okay, the list has two things of memory because one is 64 gigs and one is 32. And most people won't need 64 gigs. Especially, you know, you don't need this big Welcome of a CPU if you're dragons. running a game machine. It's because I'm going to be doing um, all of the... Um, you, sir, rock. It's because I'm going to be doing all the crunching of the data from the shows and everything uh, for the broadcast that I need all that extra horsepower. Um, so, anyway, I put uh, the two memory things on there. Both of those, by the way are um, both of those by the way are certified and so I did a lot of research to make sure of the stuff that was certified it's not two machines um, but it's just two options for that one machine but I'm doing 64 gig um, but I put a lot of work in research to find the certified stuff so is that uh, capture card brand reliable it is the best one that there is on the market, in my opinion. It's a $400 card, capture card. I have two of them in the stream machine, and it is the, uh, the best one on the market. It does 4K at 60 FPS. So, let's see here. Pale X Design and Rusty Dragon, thank you for the follows. And then Gamma Cree just subbed. All right. Gamma Cree, I'm going to hook you up. Here is a thousand gold to you. Spend it however you want. Dungeon raids, dancers, or the space prince. Everybody give it up for Gamma Cree because of them. Another ten gold to everybody here. Dancers for everybody. Exclamation point dancers. Just be careful. You may catch a dancer you weren't intending on. <laughs> so. So. Single operating system, yes. That's one thing that I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I'm putting Windows 10 on it, and my Windows license is Windows 7 or whatever. And then it was free upgrade to 10, and I don't know. They're probably going to make me buy the damn OS again for this new machine. The OSs typically now are, um, are tied to the CPU. So, yeah, we'll find out. Can still upgrade for free? All right, well, we'll find out. So, but I'm a little bit concerned about that. And, you know, if I have to buy frickin' Windows on, on uh, retail, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's gonna be like 250 bucks or some crap like that. And, and I hear rumors that they're gonna go to a pay for OS like contract. I hear that's where Microsoft is going and that um, that there be like maybe a free version that has very minimal stuff and then you have to pay monthly or annually or whatever for an, a um, premium license. So just keep my OS drive. Well, I'm going to be wiping it. So, I will be uh, I will be wiping the OS drive and starting fresh. It's going to be a clean install on the new on the new hardware.
Reapers wants to know who watches this retarding, retarded mining stuff. You guys can let him know. Yeah, there's a lot of people who won't pay annually. They'll move over to Linux or something like that. But the problem is all the games, you know? <laughs> I just sent you a uh, message on Discord, uh, Marky. Okay, thanks. Yeah. All right, thanks for the uh, offers of product keys and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll figure it out before I before I do it. But thank you for the uh, the offers. Well, I'm getting a few messages on that. So, I'm going to start looking at my other characters here, see how they're doing. Don't worry though, if we hear this exploding, I'll be able to switch right back to it. We will definitely hear it. All right, this guy is just about full. We're gonna move him over. How large is the Eve community? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, every afternoon there's 30,000 people logged in, same time. But how many active accounts there are or whatnot, I don't know. There's certainly plenty of community here. I have no, no qualms of feeling like it's uh, vacant and empty. Like we have a few people here now just waiting to see this pop yeah last big battle had 5,000 people in it i was there so eve does work on linux but there's a lot of other games like um actually you know shroud of the avatar works on linux too and i play that i don't know about crowfall but i need i need mainstream for what i do so I would pay for, for whatever because I, because I need the mainstream. Docking request accepted. Yeah, this is one server. I mean, there is a Chinese server, but it's Chinese government rules or whatnot. But yes, everybody in the world except for China plays on one server. Do I stream PvP as well as industry? Absolutely. We do a lot of PvP. So I just been on this industry kick for a little bit because been making good money on it. So Oh look, we have uh, rats. Yep. I have one uh the I have one hobgoblin out and he'll take care of him, but um when he gets targeted, it'll auto attack. But otherwise, Welcome yep. To the dragons. Hey, well, I mined 34 million worth of moon goo. Hmm. Uh, Mara Selena and uh, Deeran, thank you for following. Welcome. Oh, it takes so long to lock these rats with the Yes, it does. 
It does. <sighs> but you only need one drone to hit them yeah, with because there's yep. so much power in them. I know. Just takes way too long to lock them. And I just wanted to protect this poor little venture that's mining next to me constantly. Oh, he already walked away. <laughs> was this venture of like 12 days old or something. Constantly sitting next to me mining. Poor guy. <laughs> Uh-oh, there it blows. Yep. Oh, that's a rat. Never mind. I thought that was the, I thought that was yeah. the moon. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was all excited for a second there. All right. Nope. It wasn't that the was man. The and my drone is going after the next red now. Okay. Yeah, so micro warp drive makes the uh, trick makes the orpa work faster. Except I decided to put everything into shielding. I haven't needed, you know, propulsion. I arrange mine a bit different for my playstyle. Brian, doing well. We got a moon next door to where you were at. Uh, that uh, I'm expecting it to blow soon, any minute. Just check, curious. Check out some of the community here. I mean, the community here is deep. There's, you know, a lot of little groups, and then there's some really big groups, and, and uh, yeah, a lot of us have been around for a really long time. It's because this game is great. I mean, um, many of us take breaks, but we never quit the game, we just take vacations. So, Sirion, how long were yep. you away from the game? I think, I don't know, let's see. Last time I, I jumped into it, but that was only for, like, one or two weeks at most, I think. That was like seven months ago. And then before that was like almost two years, I think. Yeah. So, and now you're back. So, so far with one account. Let's see if I last uh, longer than the two weeks, the last time I did. Mm hmm Yeah. Wait, let's see how, how much of a bounty we can put on Marky's head. You know, that's already been done, right? May, maybe, oh no, I got eaten in the raid. No gold. Maybe maybe you didn't know, but um, there would be the bounty. Yes. I like the name of the second uh, bounty. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice. It's a Dutch name. <laughs> oh, what is it? What does it mean? Um, washing machine. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> Name's washing. Actually, machine. Uh, no, it will be um, um, translated to um, um, dishwasher. Actually. All right. <laughs> you hear me muting my microphone, really? No, he says he hears you not muting it. Yes, I believe oh. this rock is about to blow. Apparently, Discord picks up the click sound of my muting my uh, mic. Hmm. That's stupid. TeamSpeak doesn't pick it up.
Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, I've seen a partial blow one time. I one time saw one that um, I heard it, and but I've been hearing it for 20, 30 seconds. And then I, uh, and then I saw it. And it'll expand out the explosion and the, the movement of all of the rocks last 15 minutes. You can start mining right away, right after it's done exploding, but it will keep moving. And um, so, and at first, the rocks will be moving faster than your orca can fly. So. What is this? This is uh, a chunk of a moon that's been mined out. And. Uh, yeah, the station is getting close to breaking it apart. So, and I'm expecting it any minute. Yes, this is moon mining stuff. Oh, now Sirion says Discord won't hear him talking. <laughs> yes, too far the other direction in compensation. Fellow Christine, thank you for following. Welcome. Is it always this chill? Is there some action going on also? Uh, it's not always this chill. So... And uh, yeah, we're, I expect this to blow any minute. I actually thought it was already going to blow and I came here after I thought that it was gonna blow, but it's still here. Um, and when they're yellow like this, it's up to three hours. If the station owner is here, they can uh, set it off when it's in this condition. If it's not here, if they're not here, then it blows on its own after about three hours. Testing on three. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. We still yeah, hear it's right we... on the threshold. You can still hear the microphone muting. That's yeah. stupid. Why does D Discord still pick that up and... Uh, hate Discord. I like Discord, uh, the chat and such of it, but the voice is just too iffy. Yep, sorry, can't help it. It's either you hear me clicking the microphone on and off, or you don't hear. So at this point, this thing's done being pulled toward the station. It's just waiting to blow. Yes, I think the Noctua cooler would be fine for it. Um, I also read some stuff from the devs, uh, or the uh, engineers designed the Noctua, <clears throat> that, um, that we can uh, get another three degrees Celsius down lower by using push-pull. 
uh, and putting a second fan on there and so that's what I'll be doing. If it's not enough for some reason then I'll switch it out to something else. So, but I did not want to go with water cooling this time. I do not plan on overclocking like I do on the current stream machine. I want, um, I, I, I really want stability and uh, so <clears throat> Oh, Dave, did you win this morning? You just now realized it? Congratulations. So anyway, I want, um, I want... You, sir, rock. Stability. I want stability. And uh, so even though everything is set so that I can overclock the CPU and I can overclock the memory and everything, um... I probably wouldn't go that route until I felt that I needed more more oomph out of it. If we were trying to do something more and we were, and we were struggling. I have a feeling we're not going to be struggling on this, at least not for a few years. So um, water cooling, in my opinion, the warranties on the water coolers are three years on all of them. I, I couldn't find any that offered more than that. And... Um, uh, and I just am really leery, given the way this case is set up, the power supply is underneath where if it's going to leak, it's going to go in the power supply. And um, I just, that bothers me. Especially bothers me if a leak were to happen when I'm not here. Um, I have had a fire in one of my computers before and uh, it shot flames a foot out of the s side of the computer um, in a uh, electrical fire. And uh, I was here, I was doing the show when it happened. And so that, um, I, you know, I don't want the house to burn down middle of the night and whatnot. Can't you use non-conductive cooling liquid? Well, you know, so this, whatever the liquid is, when you get it into something like a power supply, that is an enclosed thing, how do you, how do you deal with that? You can't just wash it off and you have to know that it, that it exists. So, um, the stream machine, I've been leaving it on overnight. It runs the bot. And, you know, it might be a little bit different if I didn't, um, if I just turned the machines off when I walked away. I'd be willing to take some more risk on that. So I just, um, yeah, it's just the way I've chosen to go. Yeah, put the whole thing in a tank of mineral oil. We need practicality here too. Uh, most new motherboards and PSUs have security fuses cut off power if the OS short circuits. So uh, tell that to the fire that I had in my machine. Uh, a GTX 770 um, is what I had an electrical fire on. And um, so, and in fact, Two of those 770s both had, I had, I had one had a fire, the other one burned. And it was actually at the same spots that they did. So they had a flaw and uh, power did not cut to that. I cut the power. So, yeah. So, and it has nothing to do with brand has to do with the technology type. So a fan, typically I will know that it's going out beforehand. Right now, my water cooling in there, uh, all, of the, all of the sensors on it have died. Um, it has LEDs on the front of it that's supposed to show me the condition of it too, and those have died. So I do have a CPU heat sensor, but, um, but I can't tell the uh, condition of the water cooling. Uh, did I record that show? It happened live on the show, and you see me going, holy shit, 
and everything, and then pulling the plugs on the power. So, not it was very anticlimactic as far as show wise goes. So, <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> I, um, yeah, I chose to go with uh, a little bit uh, more tried and true technology, which is a fan. So, and it's big. That fan is 140 millimeters uh, for the CPU. Always good. That's huge. Oh, hey, Brian, how you doing? Doing fine. Just yeah. finished my job. Yeah, your show. Yeah. Yeah. What were you broadcasting? Done with World of Warcraft. Yeah, and okay. I'm done with it. Oh, you <laughs> mean like? Yeah. You're, you're not gonna play it next anymore? Yeah, max level I arrived and achieved, so I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, twenty hours. That's fine for me though. Well, hopefully you got your money's worth. Mm, of aggression, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because of logic flaws, <laughs> very weird. Uh, you you remember? I don't know. It's really hard. There's a distance in between two NPCs. I pull one NPC, the other <laughs> one is one hundred yard away. And all of a sudden, the other one from 100 yards away says, Hey, my body over there is getting attacked. I will join the fight as well. And that was happening all the time. It's ridiculous. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yep. So thank you for the host, by the way, Brian. Oh, that's automatically welcome. Always welcome. Um, another thing, I realized a few Twitch accounts got hacked. Oh, really? Night. Yes, and so what... two of them were my friends. I recommend changing password and stream key after the show. Oh. Hmm. Did has uh, Twitch announced anything about this? Not really, but um, it's strange that those people were people that I know, and I know that they are just streaming, nothing else. Mm hmm. Hmm. And they were not the only ones. That's why I just changed my stream key stuff and so on. Just for the safety yeah yeah so let's see here nothing in the news about it mm -hmm. might be a very low number that's why they're not putting anything up because it's not as serious but I take stuff. If I get a news like that, I always change my password. Doesn't matter how big it is. Yeah, they run they run a two-factor authentication on the account too, which is the worst part about it. Because mm. how can you bypass that function? Since affiliates are forced to have that on and partners as well. Indeed. Yes. So that's But if the... but if they have your stream key, then that bypasses it. Yeah, but he cannot ch log in on the account and change icons and banner and so on and so on. He needs to log in over the website, and he cannot do that with the authenticator. Hmm. That right. means he needed to hack his uh, smartphone. Hmm. Well, I just mentioned it. Better safe yeah. than sorry, right? Yeah. Very cool. Can you guys still hear me, by the way? Pick yes. Correctly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going to leave a, a main view of this up. And um, then, oh, I hear the station owner is here now. Okay, I need another drink. So we have a good view. If it blows, I'm stepping away for just a second. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, OK. 
Okay, so... If the station owner is here, they can press the button to cause this to explode. Welcome to the dragons. Peter, that's moon mining. And, uh, yeah, moon mining. Um, moon miners is a group it's linked to from uh, live shows. And uh, I have linked the moon in here. You cannot use that link. There's something wrong with moon links. Uh, you can't use the link to navigate to unless you're in the system. So you gotta navigate to the system and then you can click the link and warp to it. But, you know, you can't uh, otherwise. So. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm expecting that um, they're going to be, this will be popping sometime soon. Warp drive active. And Jackson, thank you for following, welcome. So, and the station owner is here. Um, this guy is somebody who I sent him uh, money last time I uh, mined one of his things. He didn't ever yell at me or anything, and he didn't respond to me when I said something to him, but I just sent him some money as a tip for mining ore. So, but uh, he has not said anything. Okay, we're going to take these up to station. I have a feeling it's really close to blowing. All these guys are almost completely full. Warp drive active. Um, there's a um, Galente Hall, right? That is the ore hold. Which one is that again? Uh. Oh. The Galante one that has the ore hold? Yeah. I don't know. There it goes. There it goes, folks. <laughs> Uh, it's the one with the M, if I'm not mistaken. It looked Can like they fired the something from the station. Miasmos, I think. Yeah, yeah. that could be Miasmos. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this has crokite and spodium and kernite. This is a hall. I love the animation on the moon stuff. It's yeah. It's just brilliant. All right. So let me, uh, here we go, folks. Oh, wow. What is that? That, uh, firing animation or something. That was weird. Uh, the firing animation is for the next pull. Yeah, look at that. That means he's shooting on the moon, and you see the detonations two times in a circle, and then he's shooting with a beam down there. Oh, look at that! Wow, I've never seen that so I before. Said the animations are amazing. Yeah. Oh, you see the beam shooting, and then you see a huge detonation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Whoa, that is so freaking awesome! Holy cow! That is amazing. 
that's like that takes me back to the dust days mm-hmm. of like you know shooting down at targets for the dust guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nathaniel, things are good. All right, I don't know if that was all of it, but that was that was pretty impressive. I'll leave it on the screen for a minute. So. Yeah, okay, there's a beam. So once the green beam is up, is it starting or does oh, it? It's does pulling it, in, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, boy, that's that was that was cool. Left drive hmm? active. Yeah, we are in high sec, folks. Um, There's no more passive mining boost, right, for being a fleet, is there? Or? Not, uh, not anything that will do you anything good but shields. You can do shield stuff. But there's nothing that will boost your uh, your mining. You can give boosts to people who are using lasers, mm, yeah. including ventures. To the dragon. The normal yeah, yeah, too? ventures okay. can. So if you wanna if you wanna throw out boosts for you know if you wanna put together fleet and throw out boosts, uh, yeah, yeah, you can. So you can increase the range, reduce the duration, so you get more cubic meter in a short period of time, and the crystal. Destruction. If you use strip miner tech two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I have all three of the boosts uh, loaded up. I see equipment preservation, laser field enhancement, laser optimization. John. Mm. Okay, we'll get these guys going here, and then uh, show some darn off slot. Yeah. Got. Uh, you guys so anyway the owner is here of this place um he didn't shoo me out last time i saw him uh it was on a different one he owns multiples multiple of these obviously and uh so it um Docking request uh accepted. but i do i do recommend you know sending him a tip or whatever for whatever you mine and uh just saying you know, thank you for the ore, or whatnot. Just a friendly thing to do. Um, all right, I see some people Xing up in Moon Miners. I don't know if you're building a fleet there, Sirion, but oh, uh, I, I can do it. I guess if you were if you were <laughs> going to give somebody boosts, you'd need to be in a fleet, right? Yeah, I know. I was uh, considering giving this uh, thirteen-day-old character some boosts. Ah, yes. So I don't know. Uh, you know what? Uh, what people are are doing or whatnot. Um, I haven't been, it's too much for me to manage a fleet at the same time. All the people want to come in and out. So, hey, Shosendar, 1500 bits. Thank you so much. There is 1500 gold to everybody here in your honor. And uh, that's gonna add another 15 bucks to the stream machine which is going to put us up at 2813. And uh, so, there we go. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who wonder why the total went up, it's because we moved to 64 gigs of RAM and uh, I forgot to include sales tax. And so, anyway, we're almost there and I've already ordered everything as well. So, an offslot, 50 bits. We'll put that towards whiskey. That's like a quarter of a shot. <laughs> 50 gold to everybody here in Offslot's honor. Make... And Fuji, thank you for following. How do you make a public fleet? Well, you fleet. can't. You can't? No. Why I... not? Well, you can only do it by security status or whatever. Like what their status is to you. You used to be able to make it public as well. Well, if you can figure out how to do it, that'd be great, because I'd have no problem with making a public fleet. But it, it seems to be that you either have to be in a corp together, or you have to have um, um, I mean, standing set of good or excellent. Yeah, I see yeah. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I remember it being able to make it public. I don't know. No, you can make it public, but not everybody standing. can join. Strange. 
Or maybe you set uh, it at negative 10 on the alignment, and then everybody, no matter their alignment towards you, can join. I don't know. No, you can only select good or excellent and security status. But standing, you can only select good or excellent. So that way, I'll have to f make everyone at least good status standing with myself or my uh, alliance. Yeah. That's stupid. Well, I, um, yeah, I went through this multiple times trying to get that to work. And uh, I just wasn't able to figure it out. And nobody on the show seemed to be able to figure it out either. Yep. So, yeah. It's a bit stupid, though. It, you used to be able to make publics. I, I've done pl plenty One of public feeds and such. One person told me that you have to contact CCP for the ability. Really? That's what somebody told me for, like, Spectre Fleet and, and stuff, that they're, um, that they're, you know, been given permission by CCP or something like that. I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's... Yeah, I don't know what the true answer is. Very strange. Oh well, I'll have to manually fight for now then. Yeah, and what I've done is set free move, make multiple squads, tell people to move into squad leaders so they can accept more people in. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But I found that most people didn't do that. <laughs> so I ended up managing it myself most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. For public fleet, you have to put standings to every corp first. Yeah. What machine are we listening to? Uh, define machine. I mean, this, this thump, thump, thump is the station I'm at pulling a moon bit. Yeah, but I love that sound. It sounds like an old steam machine. Yeah. But Somebody said it sounds uh, like the the movie with Jodie Foster. Contact. Mm, don't know that movie. Oh, this you you problem. haven't seen Contact? Oh my wait, god! Let, wait, let me describe. <laughs> you call it Contact, and now translate that to a German movie, and they will definitely not use the same name. It's something totally oh. different in German. I'm quite sure. Let oh. me see how it's named in German. Yes, and it's, that's what I don't like about movies. It, Jodie Foster and um, and yeah, she dimension a, travels or something like that. It was a drama, right? A fantasy movie. Two uh, and a half hours yeah, sci-fi. Nineteen seventy-nine. No, it's not that old. Uh, nineteen ninety-seven. Sorry, <laughs> swapped the numbers a bit. Uh, I think I know that. Yeah, but anyway, that sound right there is similar to that. It's not DOS boot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that's actually a movie that is called Contact, but I know the movie. Oh, it is? Oh, mm, you know, Contact. DOS boot, I, I have seen that multiple times. I have it on DVD, too, and um, I just love the movie. Um, <laughs> and, and I turn on both dub and the uh, and um, subtitles at the same time. And there's this one spot where the um, the guy in, in text and writing uh, on it, it says he wants him to hand him a cigarette. So he says, hand me a camel. And so the guy has a pack of camels and he, you know, hands him a cigarette. Well, in the dub, you're the, the English uh, stuff, they say, give me a dromedary. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I crack up at that every time I see that. I'm like, it's not a dromedary. That's a, it's sure that's a camel, but. <laughs> you like my pronunciation of Das Boot? 
Am I pronouncing it wrong? Das Boot. Das Boot? Okay. Yep, perfect. Perfect. That was right. perfect. <laughs> Dust boats. In the Bavarian movie studios, there was one of the parts of the submarine they used in the film. Ship to unload and move over. Oh, this guy's using augmented. Oh, yeah, the Xeno guy, he's the owner. Ah, okay. Yeah. They're even more expensive ones. I think it's the harvester one that are the second stage of the uh, after the augmented. Yeah, but you can't. Um... You can use them. You can. You, I'm, I don't talk about the Rockwell one. I think the Rockwell ones are the extractors. That the harvesters and the extractors as well. And the harvesters, I think it is, is the one that is just 10 cubic meters. And uses just 10 megabits of bandwidth. I think I sent this guy to the wrong place. I did. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing like warping them to the wrong place. Yeah, I think it was the harvester, right? Well, there's augmented harvester and extractor. And extractor is the, uh, the ones uh, for the Oracle. One. Yeah, the ones that you wouldn't buy because they're just way too expensive. Well, they're 900 million or something like that. A billion. Yeah, um, per... yeah, and oh, and uh, sixty ginger says you cannot put or says can't put a harvester in an orca. I don't know. I think it was possible because they were just ten cubic meters as well. Warp drive active. All right, so these guys. How much is he mined? I must have closed it on accident. Wow, he's 8 million that he's mined here already. Chief Tratums! Uh, get the shoes out of the washer. <laughs> I know, that's what it kind of sounds like. Yeah, I think uh, Zelano's the owner. So, uh, 500 uh, We're Shoda. Ah, uh, yeah, I know that guy. I told him about you. That's why he's not complaining and saying anything. Oh. 500 he's bits a German to everybody player. here. Okay. Uh, in honor of Chief Tratums, <laughs> 500 bits. So uh, I sent him money. Shit. So. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's happy about money. Yeah. Just sent him a bit. So. But the harvesters are also quite expensive. I think it's 380 million per piece, and that's way too much. I wonder what they do in terms of... Not much. I think it's three cubic meters more, or four. It's not really a humongous amount more cubic meters they make, compared. Mark, how much uh, is per hour you're making with uh, mining like this, with orcas, uh, um, on average? Yeah, so unrefined uh, with like the Spodium uh, with good skills, 18 million an hour. 18? Yeah. Okay, 18 million an hour. Huh. Yeah, my what one guy who's been here since the beginning is um, since this exploded. I mean, I started a couple minutes after it exploded, but he's at 8.6 million already that he's mined mm -hmm. on this. So, 
Yeah, and it helps to have the uh, mining rigs and everything. So. Yeah, I'll look into them. How, are they pricey at all or cheap? Uh, 200 million or so. You get two okay. tech twos and one tech one. Maybe, maybe 300 bad, million. Better tech twos are a bit more expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some people say that it's not worth going tech two tech twos and a tech three. They say that you should be just doing all tech ones, but, or a tech one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not tech three. And, um, but I, um, I don't know. I just want the highest yield. I don't plan on any of these blowing up. I mean, sure, it may happen. And if I and if I start losing orcas more often, then I'll start keeping them cheaper, possibly. But mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's okay. So. Someone left Discord. Yeah, I heard it as well. Uh, Damjan Fox says, wow, 18 million an hour, that's not a lot. Yes, it is. For how much effort we put into it, it's... Moving uh, them out. We're, we're measuring this in effort. And so, yeah. You know, I'm spending 10 minutes per hour on them or something like that. So it is, uh, it's very good. All right. Okay, well, we're getting late enough of the day here. Probably should uh, do last call for entries on the giveaway. Exclamation point giveaway in Twitch chat or uh, link in the description in YouTube. You get in there, you gotta, you gotta have an account in our store and then uh, go to the giveaway section. You gotta be logged in and you can get uh, a free entry. So it won't cost you anything. And uh, we'll do that drawing here in a few minutes. So I see all of you putting an exclamation point giveaway and it's already up above all of you. First person who did it got the reply. All of you get nothing. Well, until <laughs> we hit the timer and it popped off again, but okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh God. I'm probably not going to get drones out on all of these because I'm going to end up switching machines. Warp drive active. But I will send them, distribute them out. Yeah, you have to use the link that uh, comes up there and um, get in on it. It'll take you to our site where uh, you gotta be logged in. You can get in on this. And next draw will be for a meteor pack worth about 15 bucks. So the Spodium pays well. I'm at 10, 10.3 million already on this one guy. So I think he's, he's doing quite well with his skills. And he's my highest skilled guy. We'll uh, 
Eventually all my guys will be that skilled. But for now, he's the highest. This uh, 13 day old uh, player likes the boost that I'm giving him. <laughs> he mm, says, <good>. so cool. <laughs> it is a ni nice tiny venture next to me. <laughs> so, comparison, yeah. it's so small. Alphas, that's uh, the only thing you can fly is adventures. Yep. You have to be Omega to fly anything bigger. And mm -hmm. if you do go to Omega and start flying anything bigger, your amount that you mine goes way up. So, if you think you're doing good on on uh, adventure, you'll do even better on the other ships. So, yep. <clears throat> I don't type faster. All right, just a couple minutes left to get in on this. If you got in on this earlier today, then you're still in. Well, I guess this guy doesn't want to jump into my fleet. I invited him twice and now he joined and then he left again. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, no. it's a spy. Oh, Probably. yes, he wants to find your rocks. Can an alpha use a roke? Yes, you could mine with the roke, but your, your cargo hold, you're going to be spitting the rock out faster than anything. Yeah, I wouldn't think that I wouldn't think that you would have. I mean, so mining battleships are a thing, but maybe you need another character there. That's well, you can't play two at once when you're an alpha. Um. So you know what I used to do back in the day when I started mining? Hmm. It's on Mark Five. Oh yeah. With one mining laser in the belt, mining all day. Oh wow, huh? That's yeah. how I started mining. <laughs> you could take you could take a, a hauler out and drop an MTU and then go back, but you couldn't be in a fleet with other people because you'd pick their stuff up too. But uh, yeah. you could take an MTU, drop it out there, and you could let it collect all the stuff that you spit out. Um, and then I don't know how long the cans will stay before they disappear. But if you, you know, name them two hours. I think yeah, exactly. Two hours was the limit. Uh, One well, hour if you don't name them, two hours if you name them. That's what it used to be anyway. Yeah, so maybe every 30 minutes or 45 minutes you go back up, get your hauler, come down, empty that out, and go back or something. I don't know. But I guess that would be one way to do it. I didn't realize that. I probably lost some cans then because I had cans sitting out for more than an hour. The uh, last time I had a bunch of cans out. So... Oh, by the way, did you took a look at the list I sent you? I don't know. You sent me a list? Yeah, I guess I guess sheet. that's... Um, oh. Um, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I opened it up and looked at it or not. I think that I did not look at it yet. Okay. Yeah. All right, so everybody should have their entry in. And uh, so if you are the winner, you'll receive a reply to the email that uh, confirmed your entry. And uh, if you didn't put in a name, I'll read off first name, last initial, so you know who you are. And uh, I'll read whatever message is there. So. 
And, uh, oh, let's see here. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Thank you, Google. <laughs> uh, Evil Osant, level 16, says, Thanks for the tutorials. They seriously help. Keep them coming. All right. You are welcome. And congratulations. You have a meteor pack in your email. So if you guys need uh, any of the packs or Plex or um, the golden pods, you can get it from us, exclamation point, coupon and Twitch chat, link in the description in YouTube. Use that discount code, save yourself a few bucks and support the show. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. We're going to do more stuff tomorrow. Don't know what it's going to be yet. We're doing something. So, sitting on Brian, thanks for hanging out on comms. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, Sinsen Beam, thank you for the follow. All right. So, take care, everybody. We will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>